Remember when I said it was going to be important to make that wall? Ladies and gentlemen, the forest is moving. What is up the world? What up, peeps? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here, and we are hanging out today, and we are doing stuff and things, playing some Valheim yet again. Thanks for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. The quest for copper begins. Let's ping that area right there. We know where we have to go. So yeah, uh, welcome back and thanks for coming to hang out. Make sure if you like the video, don't forget, hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Uh, if you're new, subscribe for more stuff and things. And uh, we are going to be doing some grinding today, I do believe. So yeah, we've got to get a bunch of copper. That's kind of the next technological advancement that we have. Um, and we're going to be heading back and forth over in this direction. The closest spot, I do believe to get as much copper as we can. That's what's gonna allow us to make um, some new weapons, possibly some new armor. I don't know, we have to unlock it and see what's gonna go on here. Um, the only problem that we have, you think you got what it takes? Yeah, you see that's a warning swing. Uh, the only problem that we have is it's gonna be heavy and it's gonna be a bit of a long run. So we might as well, ah, by the power of Grayskull, let's get some stamina's back. Um, but yeah, in the last episode, we went up into the swamps. We got into some of the dungeons. We got our certling cores, and those were the things that we needed in order to make the forge and the charcoal kiln. So those guys are up and running now. We already have some charcoal going. You know what would be great is if I could just walk from here. I don't even know. So yeah, this is going to be, I was going to say, to walk from right across this little bay area here. Um, but I don't think it's going to be Ow, that easy. Hey, what's up, man? Neck, can I have some of your neck meat? Hey, neck meat, uh, which is actually tail. That's confusing. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a long walk. I'm kind of taking you along that long walk right now. Uh, and there's gonna be bad hombres along the way. I wanna make sure that we're kind of coming over into this area as much as we can during the day. Uh, oh, we came way off there. The night is dark and full of terrors. Dude, why do you got a big like running around thing going on here? Stunned, nailed it. Uh, so yeah, we just got to make sure we're not trying to take too much time to do this. Uh, and then our pick is pretty low as well. Uh, as far as durability, we don't have a ton of it. So yeah, we'll see how this is all going to work out. But we got obviously bad, ooh, bad hombres in the area. How's that? Feeling stunned? Dude, and I'm really glad we made the decision to switch to this axe. Our axe is kicking butt. All right, let's take a look here and see how this is going to work out. Is this copper as well? I think this is just a stone. So it says copper deposit where there is copper. We're going to try to start on the sides here. This is the order of business for today. This is what we're going to be doing here like so. Now, there's a lot of stone that we're going to be able to pick up too, uh, which we might be able to use a little bit later. Uh, I forgot about that knockback deal. Uh, come on, you stupid dumb. You think you... And then... Yeah, dude, this axe is where it's at, man. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a deal today. This is basically what I'm planning on doing. We're going to see how much copper we can get. Uh, as far as the stone goes, I'm not really sure. I probably could... Oh, there's Huggy. I could probably make a chest and maybe put some stone around here. That might be a good idea. we got bad hombres in the area, too. Raw ore will be refined in the smelter before you can work uh, it at the forge to build the smelter. I already got that, bud. I already got those guys. So look at this, man. This is how this is going to go. We're just going to be in a giant fight all day long. Holy crap, man. You think you got what it takes? Look at that, man. I'm an expert. Uh, good old base. Back with some copper. Not a lot. I got 16, though. I don't think that's a lot, and I don't think that's a little. I also built a workbench and a chest out there so I could leave some stuff if I needed to for weight. But it turns out that, I mean, most of all the stuff... I could carry because my pickaxe ran out of durability before I kind of loaded up on weight. So hold on a second here. This is where our coal goes. Let's go ahead and drop that in there. Let's drop the rest of that in there. Let's grab the rest of this and load this guy back up. Dude, look at that. I love this little magical let there be coal type thing that goes on when you put those in there. All right, so now those guys go inside of there. We can drop some extra inside of that guy. And then I think we're going to store all of our coal over here like this. All right. So that guy should be smelting stuff and things up. Now, over here, we have some other uh, technological upgrades that we want to make. And let's just be honest. This was a cool idea for a minute. Uh, but yeah, there is a lot of wood involved in keeping all these fires going. 
So what I think we're going to do is pull all of this off of here like so. And then I'm kind of feeling like, I don't even know. Let me see. We have some room inside. Um, except, wait, we can't build these fires inside of here. It won't work. I don't know why. And I know, hmm, I'm not sure. We could take the floor out. But this is what I'm thinking over here. Uh, let's grab that guy like that. And then if we were to just build these like so and build it sideways, I think we can fit like three of them. Let's go ahead and build one in the center. Nice and centered. And then one over here like that. And then one over here like that. I think that'll work a lot better, right? That just makes sense. Pop that guy off. One of these guys right there. And then another one here and another one here. So that should allow us to do six, I think. All right. So if we do all that, let me, uh, let me see here. Load this guy up with fuel. Is that cooking? It looks like it's cooking. I think we're doing good over there. And then we can load these guys up with fuel right of wood. Yeah, it is what it is. All right. So we got that guy going. And then over here, our very first ore. Bam. Copper. We learned the forge. Okay. It looks like we're going to have to build this forge. All right. Hold up. You got uh, your meat done? Anybody? There it is. Can I still pick it up nice and easily? All right, sweet. Let's pop over inside of here on this guy. Do all of our repairs right there. Let's go inside of there under crafting. This is the forge. We need coal. Six copper. Six. Dude, that two copper. Wait, is it one? How does it work with the ore? Is it one to one? All right, I think it's one to one. Uh, let's grab that guy right there. We'll pop this guy in here. There, that's good to go as well. We still have a couple left. Um, no, no, no. So it's one to one. We're good to go. We just need a couple more copper to build the forge. The night is dark and full of terrors. All right. So we need some coal. We need, I think, four. We need 10 wood. Let's grab that like so and like so. Bang and bang. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the forge. I think we are ready to place this bad hombre. Let's place her down right. Where do we do that guy? Right in front of the window. Maybe we'll place this guy in front of this window. Forge, copper knife, sconce. That's all we learned? How do we get out? Wait, what? Copper knife and sconce. Wait, where, where's all the other stuff? We need... There's There should be amazing weapons. There should be so many more amazing weapons. Now that we've unlocked copper. Maybe we have to go get the tin as well. I can't remember. So, uh, in conjunction with tin, which can be found all along, like, the coastal areas of the Black Forest. If you get both of those, you are able to make bronze. So, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that's what we've got to do next put those two guys inside of there so the adventure continuously continues uh here as we try to unlock more stuff and things uh i have repaired all my stuff let's go ahead and pop over inside of there and drop that guy let's drop this guy over inside of there and then i don't even know where i put eyes we put eyes inside of there there we go all right so we're good to go we need to sleep and then do it all again tomorrow let's go find some more stuff and things need a fire oh man we need a fire nearby uh, we can fix that and there we are tin so tin deposits right here like i said you can find them along the coast of the black forest like so bam he's done it all right we got tin ore now that still hasn't unlocked anything for us uh, obviously we have to gather up a bunch more of this stuff. So we're just going to be walking around here trying to see what we can see. But I'm thinking once we smelt this, that should unlock bronze. And then combining the tin, uh, excuse me, uh, combining the tin, uh, and the copper will give us bronze. And if I'm not mistaken, the recipe is two copper to one, uh, tin for one bronze. So we're going to need a lot more copper than we're going to need tin. Uh, so I'm just going to continue over here. I think what I'll do is just make a run and wait until this pick is out. Um, I'm thinking about actually, oh, excuse me. Uh, that's not okay. Could you just be quiet? Wait, what the crap are you? You are very blue. Oh, that's a brute. Hold, please. Okay, low stamina. Ow, no, not okay. Okay, we're in a fight. We're in a fight battle. You want some of this? Dude, there's so many. Come here. Couple of hits. Oh, dude, he got a hit in on me. Isn't there another guy? Did we kill him? Dude, there's so many guys over here. This is crazy. You want some of this action in your life? Hey, how about that? You think that was cool? Now you're on fire, stupid. That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> 10. All right, we're cooking up a little nap tail. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the 10 inside of there. And we have a bunch more. There's 20 of those guys. There's our neck tail. 
all ready to rock and roll like that. That works pretty good over there. I'm psyched about that little setup we got. I had to, oh, except I'm on fire. I had to drop some stuff and things uh, out in the forest. I didn't have enough room to carry everything. I also feel like I can, I don't need to necessarily carry all this stuff with us. So maybe we can just lower a little bit of our weight by doing this. Of course, not that much. Uh, and then we got some eyeballs over inside of here. We got some resin that goes inside the yellow container. And we got some leather that goes inside the leather container. And what the crap is all that? Holy crap. I think we're out of coal again already. This thing needs a lot of... You don't have any coal. I put it in the wrong deal. All right, let's go backwards. This guy requires a ton of freaking coal, man. So we'll drop those guys back inside of there. We got six more copper over here. That's a total of 10. And then we have all that as well. We are way burdened if we try to do that. Let's add that guy into there. All right, come on, man. Give me that first 10. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for the magical 10. We're still ready. It's very exciting. Tens of people are waiting. Watch it be another copper. I bet you it is one of the... Oh, 10. He's done it. Bam, tin, bronze, and the cauldron. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and grab the... We don't need all of that, just for weight. And then let's pop over here and over here. Right there. Ladies and gentlemen, bronze. Oh my god, Blon bronze plate, bronze leggings, bron bronze arrows, eight gear, axe, nails, helm, mace, buckler, spear, sword, and anvils. Dude, huge amounts of stuff and things. All right, let's take a look. I think what I'm going to do, the way that I want to play this, I think I'm going to go with the bronze axe because we kind of figured that our axe is a good weapon and it means we don't have to carry like a weapon and an axe. So I'm thinking this is what we're going to go for. Now that means eight bronze. That means 16 copper and eight ten are going to be required for this. So let's pop back over here. Let's put our bronze back in there. We need a lot more copper. Grab that guy. Make sure that guy's filled up like so. Do we have any wood over here that's left? We don't. So we got to make sure we're grabbing uh, huge amounts of wood as well. Let's see how much wood we've got. That's not a lot. Enough at least to fill up the kiln. Because this guy uses coal for days. All right. Uh, we get it all? Uh, <laughs> all right. Next order of business. We'll eat a little bit of food. I think we got to chop down some trees just to make sure we have enough wood. We got to head back out into the forest to get more copper. Dude, the busy box is real right now, big time. So check this out. I learned a couple of things. Hold on, let's put the yellow away. Let's put some seeds away. Uh, comfort level. So I noticed I placed down this guy right here. It's like a, just some sort of a rug. It's like a deerskin rug or whatever. I noticed over here I had comfort four. And then when I walked over here, I had comfort three. I think this gives me more comfort. And I think that we can get even more higher comfort and if I'm not mistaken, there it is right there. See how the rested buff is for 11 minutes now? I think the more comfort you have, the higher your rested buff is going to be. So uh, what I've been doing so far is just spending the mornings out getting coal and then spending the afternoons kind of over here getting some more wood so I can make more charcoal or coal, pardon me. Uh, because, yeah, it's really, really expensive. It's, like, really hard to keep up with all the stuff and things. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, we have a little bit more copper. No, that's not copper. That's copper. Squirt those guys inside of there. And then let's go ahead and grab 16 of those. And that should mean we need eight of these. Like that. Was that something going on back there? Did you see that? Oh, it's the deer. All right. So we're too heavy. But we should be able to at least get over to here. And then inside of here, we can turn this into times five. Bam, and then let's go ahead and make more bronze. Oh yeah, technological advancements. That's eight. Now the first thing that I want to make, crap on a cracker. There's no bronze pick in here. Why is there, I can't figure out bronze egg or bronze ax, arrowheads. Why can't I make the bronze pick yet? You know, I feel like it's super frustrating that uh, you can't, you don't know what it is that you're missing when you're trying to move forward with stuff. Um, I really don't know why I can't make the pick. There should be a bronze pick inside of here, and I don't see it. I really want to make a bronze pick so that I can gather up more stuff, and I really don't want to make another antler pickaxe if I can avoid it. I'd rather make the pick first. Uh, this guy, maybe I just need to make some sort of a weapon first. There's the knife, buckler, spear, sword, acre, arrows, nails right there. Maybe we need to make... Nah, that can't be it. Four wood and two leather. Let's go ahead and do this. So let's grab, uh, pardon me. Let's go ahead and put three of those guys away. Let's go ahead and grab four wood. 
Uh, like so. Let's at least just make this axe. Maybe that will unlock the pick? I have no idea. Uh, that guy right there. Craft. Bam! Br new item. Bronze axe. Okay. That did not unlock the pick. I wonder what we have to do to unlock that pick. Uh, maybe we need to make the nails or something like that. I'm not really sure. Let's take a look at these guys right here. 35 slash as opposed to 30. So this axe is great, but it goes away inside of here. And then now we've got this bad ombre. Look at that. Look at that. We need a bronze shield to go with our new bronze axe. So it's definitely better. And that's awesome. Uh, we can use it for fighting and we can use it for gathering uh, stuff and things. So that is awesome. For gathering uh, wood specifically. So we'll be able to get that going. And so I'm feeling like we're just kind of in this little holding pattern right now. We just got to gather up a bunch more stuff and things. So I got to head out. I guess I got to wait for night. Uh, I think I can make two trips back and forth for getting copper. The other thing I do believe that we should probably do to make this a little bit better. The antler pick requires that second antler. Do we have one? We have those right there. What else do we need in order to make that guy? It'd be great if that saved it for you. 10 wood. All right, let's go ahead and pop inside of there. Let's grab 10 of those guys. And I think for right now, we're going to make two of these antler picks. Oh, baby. You guys, we can cut down these birch assists now. These birch trees, which forever and ever were too hard for us to gather. I think we now are able to harvest these bad hombres. Hold on. I think this is going to unlock some stuff and things. Let's grab it right there. Bam. Tankard, Adze, Forge Cooler, Dragon Adornment, Stool, Chair. That might be comfort. Ward Portal, Table. Black banner, 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 fermenter. Oh man, that unlocked a ton of stuff and things for us. That is FKA. Oh, don't get, dude, you gotta be careful of that. So hold on, what's my weight looking like? Oh, we got plenty, we're doing great. So this might help us with that rested bonus and making that last as long as possible. I mean, the, like the main thing in this game, it kind of at some points turns into like this stamina simulator uh, where you're just trying to get stamina all the time. So the longer we can get that rested buff to, lo to last, the better the, uh, off we're going to be for sure. All right, let's gather up some of the stuff. Under cover of darkness, we return to our base. Uh, coal is looking pretty good. And something else that I figured out, when you sleep through the night, all of your air quotes, I guess you would say, machines work through the night. So let's go ahead and close up for the evening and let's have a little bit of a sleep. Pay attention in your ear holes. You will hear machines doing stuff and things. You dream of a great tree reaching out through the night. One half of its branches crackle with flames. The other are green with leaves. All right. So, ah, good morning. And yeah, check it out, guys. Over inside of here right now. Bam. All of that's done. And we are now up to 24 copper. All of these guys are done. We'll fill that back up like so. And it looks like we're kind of getting over the hump a little bit with the coal. Uh, we need a lot of this stuff. And then let's go ahead and drop in the rest of this. I've got a couple of trips under my belt up into the Black Forest. All right. So there's no way I can carry all this stuff. Let's get 10 and then 5, I think, would probably be our best bet. Like so. Let's go ahead and make up 5 bronze like that. All right. Bam. 5 more bronze. Nailed it. It's good. All right. We'll squirt those guys inside of there. We will then again do 10 of these guys. Uh, and then five of these guys like that. And suddenly hours of work is gone. Uh, <laughs> dude, it, it's not hours, but it takes a long time to gather up all this stuff. All right, there's five more. So now we are up to a total of 11. Uh, we have five and 10 more of those guys. So I think we got to get this guy loaded up and make sure we're good to go on that. Um, we're going to need a lot of this stuff in order to make everything that we're going to need to make. Like, I can't even imagine. Like, it's crazy. I wonder if in multiplayer it would be easier to gather. But then I think in multiplayer, if you had mo more players, you would have to get huge amounts. You'd have to have a, a large, uh, uh, much more copper and much more tin. You know what I mean? Like, you got two guys, you need twice as much. You got three guys, you need three times as much. Uh... So I don't know if having more players would be any better um, as far as how quickly you can gather this stuff up. I think it would still take a really, really long time. All right. So we have 11 of those guys there. Now, I was going to make a bronze pick. I kind of feel like two antler picks is where it's at. And then I built a workshop or a workbench out there by the copper deposits. You could always just put a roof over it and then you could just repair right where you are. 
we have two more deposits just in this little area so we've got a lot of good we got a lot of stuff going on like it's all really good um I'm kind of feeling like maybe the next order of business, I don't even know, maybe the bronze buckler? That would be 10 and 4. Let's go ahead and make that guy, man. Let's grab, uh, no, not all of that. Let's grab 4 of these guys, like so. And then let's grab 10 of these bad hombres, like that. Alright, bronze buckler 30. Let's go ahead and craft this guy up, right there. Bam. We gotta make those nails, too. All right, what does it take to make the nails? Just one bronze? All right, so we got our buckler. Let's squirt it up in there. Let's take a look here really quickly and see. Durability, 300. Durability, 200. <laughs> block power, 30. Block power, 45. All right, so we're obviously probably, you know, we're going to need to uh, upgrade that bad ombre. Inside of our tools, we have no room for anything else. Uh, armor, I guess that's where shields would go, right? We'll squirt that in there. Uh, let's grab our one more of these guys and make the nails and see if that unlocks anything for us. Bronze nails. Bam. Cart. Carve. Something else. Dude, that goes by so fast. We got a cart. Right there it is. So wood, bronze nails, and a workbench, and then you can make a cart. Let's talk about this here. We need 20 of these guys. Let's grab that, and then like this. Let's uh, go outside to make this bad home, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, and then the cart. Bam. What do we got over here, man? Hot cart action. Open the storage. Oh, cool. We can squirt stuff inside of there. Or we can pull stuff out of there. And great. It's raining. So, cart use. Oh, my God. We got a cart. Look at this. This is ridiculous. So, you can just haul the cart like that. You can run with it. It takes stamina, of course. Drop it like that. There we go. All right. So that might be... I don't know how useful this will be for us right now, actually. Uh, bringing it all the way out to that copper might be pretty tough. And then by the time I ever have, um, like, my inventory full, I'm basically just out of my picks anyway. So I don't know if this would be super useful for gathering copper. I guess it probably would be. We could try it out. Um... Raining today. That is no bueno. Let's grab all of these guys. Squirt that inside of there. We don't have any more. Yeah, we do have more. Those guys inside of there. So, going out when it's raining kind of sucks because the, um, the wet debuff really kind of tanks your stamina. I might just stay inside today and read a book or something. We have to take a little bit of a break. Uh, uh, from getting stuff and things going here. How much wood is that? Can I carry that much? I cannot. Let's go ahead and put half of that away. Can I carry that much? Let's go ahead and put a little bit more away. Can I carry that much? All right, 298. So we got attacked earlier, and that's actually part of this game that we are kind of sort of ignoring, and that's not a good idea. Um, yeah, we're kind of ignoring the fact that you can be attacked in this game, uh, and I feel like we should probably get to doing some fortifications here. So, stake wall. Oh, we can't even do it that far away. All right, so what we're going to have to do to start with is pop inside of here under crafting and then build one of these guys, like, over there. And then I think I'm just going to eyeball this. So, what we're going to do... Oh, it's turning out to be night. We'll have to go ahead and... Um, oh, how's that going to work? Is that flat right there like that? All right, so I think we're going to pop over here, and I think we're going to go ahead and start with our wall. I do want to leave a good amount of space, but not too much. I kind of feel like this would be good right here. And then can we attach? Okay, so you can attach. And then it looks like we'll have to do it kind of like this. So it kind of attaches in some spots. And then in other spots, we'll have to just go like so. Uh, and build this out. And what I want to do is build this down all the way over this direction. So like here, though, this is a little bit of a trick. Yeah, that's weird, huh? We'll have to go like so. Build this guy all the way out over here. Missing requirements. So then we get it. Yeah, okay. So this is a... I really hope that this gets updated. Because this is such a weird thing. You have to build this workbench. Why do I have to build a workbench and then build another one like over here so that I can build more things? And then the other thing that's odd about this is that you can't do any like repairing um, unless you have the workbench. So if you have an issue and you want to do repairs, you're going to have to build another workbench. Maybe I should just leave them strategically around the base everywhere so that that way oh those are backwards so that way we can make sure that uh we have areas to do repairs so i'm thinking we build this guy all the way down here to the water like so oh that's a little bit off we want to do a good job here let's place this guy like that will you snap on there for me bud 
There can be little itty bitty spaces. I guess it's not a big deal. The biggest issue here is that we just want to make sure that this is going to block uh, trolls. Uh, and because I'm, if I'm not mistaken, we can have trolls uh, that are going to going to come into the base. So that would be bad news, bears. Uh, this actually feels like it's a little low to me. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I could build it below. I think that's how it's just going to have to be. And then right over here, see what we're going to need to do is probably build another workbench. This is super weird, man. So it's red all through there. Maybe we build another workbench like over here somewhere. There's a couple spots that would allow it. And then let's go ahead and pop off some of these guys. Because what we're going to put over here are these bad hombres like so. We got to rotate that guy around. We'll put one there. Rotate that guy around and put one there. We're out of wood. All right, so it's turning out to be night. Let's go ahead and pop inside and sleep the way the evening, and then we will continue with our uh, defensive structure building. Finishing up the old wall. Yeah, remember that time before we had a wall? Not anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Now we have a wall. And what happens when you build a wall? Well, you got to make sure there's no rocks in the way. Everybody knows that. Wall building 101. I took this class back in the day. They offered it in high school. Uh, and so in wall building 101, no, you don't, uh, yeah, you got to make sure that you build a wall and, uh, it takes a long time and you have to make sure <laughs> the other things you have to do is, uh, you have to build a ridiculous amount of workbenches. That's how a wall gets built. So I've decided I'm just going to leave these workbenches around. Uh, I think that's our best bet. If we ever get attacked, we're going to have to, uh, repair everything. We can't repair things without these workbenches being here. So I feel like it only makes sense that we do that. Um, I'm not sure as far as additional uh, doorways go, but right now it looks like we're doing pretty good. You know what? We might go ahead and angle this guy in a little bit just to save ourselves a bit of space. And we can leave. Yeah, I guess we can go all the way over there like that. That looks pretty good. So we got that guy going over there. Sanctum. Excuse me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You want to get punched? Fist of Cuffsmanship. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Tiny. The god of fisticuffsmanship. There's another guy? Where are you at, homie? I heard you. Wait, what? Where is he at? Is he stuck underneath my dock? Yo, dude, what's up, little guy under the dock? How's it going, bud? What the? Dude, you're impervious to damage now. Dock shield. Got him. Pop off your deal. There we go, like so. And then, fingers crossed, we have enough uh, wood in order to make this happen. And like, uh, like that. And then like that. We have to place it from over here because the bench is too far away. I want you to lay down just like so. All right. I think that should be good. So we have a little space over here to walk through. I don't think we're going to have to work. Is that a fish? Excuse me. There's a fish right here. Dude. Added raw fish times three. That's excellent. We got free fish. I have no idea how to even get fish. That's pretty cool. Hold on. Let's go ahead and cook up this fish real quick. We got neck meat for days as well. That's all of those guys. Anything else? No, we're good. All right. So we got some fish going. Uh, while that's cooking, we could pop inside here and just do a little bit of repairing. Like so. And then this guy over here for our bronze axe. So still don't know how to make the pick. And I'm a little bit confused about how it's done. Uh, I don't know what it is that I'm missing inside of there. Let's go ahead and grab these guys. There's our tails. There's that. There's our fish. Like so. Cooked fish item. Hold on a second here. Let's eat some fish. And then neck. And then maybe that. I can't tell what our total HP is, but it looks pretty high. I would say maybe over 100 now with that. So we could probably save that for if we have any sort of battles or anything like that. Drop those guys in there. Drop the stone over inside of here. All that wood goes inside of there <laughs> along with our copper nails. And then back over here, I think... Oh, we got to drop some more stuff and things inside of here, too. Let me see. Actually, do we have any more? No. So we have uh, only three more tin and a little bit more copper. So uh, the night is upon us. It's time to rest. Remember when I said it was going to be important to make that wall? Ladies and gentlemen, the forest is moving. What do we got going on over here? That's a sh uh, shaman shaman. Don't poison me. Oh, okay. All right. No, no trolls. He's got healing. We gotta take that guy out. Okay, a whole bunch of bad hombres. Okay, hold on, hold on here, guys. Got a couple of hits. I feel like this is gonna be easy. Oh, we need some stamina. Hot stamina action. Whoa. Oh, man, that was a hit. 
that was a big hit. Ooh, damn, whoa, I thought, boom, this is not gonna be easy. <laughs> we gotta hit that shaman, he heals everybody. Okay, a little bit of stamina. Dude, we got a neck in this piece too. Ooh. Oh no, run! Oh, close. Dude, I want to hit that shaman pretty bad. Yeah! One down. Swing and a miss. Uh, uh, don't. Oh, God. So many bad hombres. Shield. Okay, we take a little bit of a big giant hit there. Dude, he's healing him. And he keeps... He's in the back. I can't get him. Okay, 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 okay. This is bad. This is a little bit harder than I thought. Okay, okay. Okay, another one down. Okay, we're doing all right. We're at 78 hit points. Getting back some stamina here. There's the guy right there. We want to hit you. Yeah, that shaman's down, baby. You see that? Mad strafing action. The forest rests again. Okay, are you guys not pissed anymore? How's this work? What happened to our amazing music? Oh, so anticlimactic. <laughs> Dude, the one guy's running away. No, you don't. Get back here. If you're going to make me do this, I'm going to do it. Dead? D-E-D -E -D dead. All right, we're ready. Done. D E D dead. All righty then. So the wall, not necessarily necessary for what we did just here, uh, but it worked. It kept him out of the base, and that way we don't have to worry about there being any damage over there or anything like that. And uh, you guys, that's going to be it for today. A lot of off camera gathering today. Not as much action as I would have liked, but the end was good, man. It was a good day here in Valheim. Make sure if you want to see more Valheim videos, words, don't forget. Show your support. Hit that thumbs up button. If you're new and you haven't already, subscribe for more. And we'll see you guys in the next one. May the stuff of things be with you.